What's up everyone and welcome back to the 7th CSS video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video I'll be showing you how you can style your ordinary HTML list using CSS. As always I have created two files. I have created a HTML file and a CSS file. Inside my HTML file I have linked to my CSS file. I've also made a simple unordered list um, with two list items. Let's first have a quick look at how this list looked like now. Um, and this is basically it. It's pretty boring, um, I would say. So what we're going to do now is try to style it a little bit with CSS. The first thing I'm going to do is to go into my style sheet. In here I'm going to type in UL because that's the tag for an unordered list. I'm not using the number sign because I'm not creating a specific or unique styling. This is an overall styling for all my unordered lists. The first property I'm going to style is called list style type this one and as you can see in here we have a lot of different options uh, or values we can choose to have a circle decimal disk um, Roman a square um, you name it but I'm just gonna pick circle and take a look at that one and as you can see our list marker has now changed from a dot to a circle we could also write none like this and then the marker will totally disappear like that. Now I then want to change my background color of my list. Um, so I'm just gonna go up here again and type in background color. And I want that to be gray. Let's have a look at this one in the browser. As you can see the background color of my unordered list is now gray. If I do like this it will continue to be gray all the way on the page. Um, we can change this by simply adding a width to our unordered list. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in width. And it should be 100 pixels. Let's try looking at it in the browser again. And as expected, the list is now 100 pixels wide. Now I then want to make a styling for my list items. So I'm going to go in here again and type in li because that's the tag for our list item and then I'm gonna choose another background color and that should be yellow so let's try viewing our list in the browser now as you can see our list items has now been styled with a yellow background color this area out here is still gray because that's the styling of our unordered list our overall unordered list styling so if you don't have a list item styling then the overall unordered list styling will be applied but in this case we have a list item styling with a yellow background color so that is also the styling that has been applied okay so now I want my list items to be displayed next to each other to do so I'm gonna go into my list item styling type in display and then inline I'm also just gonna change the color up here so that is gray again like that Let's view it in the browser. As you can see, the list items has now been displayed next to each other. Another way of doing this is to use the property float, like this. And want it to float left. And as you can see, they are still placed next to each other, but the list width has been reduced a little bit. And that's because when using float, we eliminate the styling of the unordered list. Now, let's try making a special and unique styling for a data2 um, list item. So, I'm just going to go in here. And this time, I'm going to use the number sign because now we're making a specific and unique styling. I'm just going to call it li special. For this one, I would like a background color as well, so I'm just going to copy this one. And the background color in this one should be yellow. So now I've made the styling. I'm just going to apply it to my list item. So I'm going to go into my HTML document. Go into my list item number 2. And add the ID attribute because it's a unique styling. And as you remember it was called li special. Let's view it in the browser. As you can see our list item 2 has now been styled with a specific styling with a yellow background. What you can actually also do with this special styling is to uh, change the height. So I could go into my style sheet again 
and add a height property and set that to let's say 50 pixels like that let's view it in the browser and as you can see our special styling for data 2 is now 50 pixels high another problem which you can encounter uh, when making list is that there will always be a wide area out here and you can't get the list to align with the far left of the browser this can however be solved with a simple property so I could go up here in my overall UL styling and type in padding and because it's the padding on the left we want to remove we type in zero pixels let's try viewing it in a browser as you can see the list is now nicely aligned with the left side of the browser and there's not a large white area out here anymore and that was actually the final word for today now you know how to style your lists in CSS there's actually a lot of other attributes and ways to style lists but this was just some quick examples hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please visit beginnertask.com Thank you all for watching. See you soon.